How's it going everyone? We are back and I'm back in front of the camera for the first time in a little while doing a deck profile. Um, we're going to be, spoiler alert if you didn't get it from the title, we're going to be looking at Evil Eye. Um, this deck is, I would say it kind of fills out a Marincess slot but different. It's a somewhat compact engine, you can play chicken with your own consistency and add more non-engine. Uh, I've gone for kind of just a balanced pure list, but I might do some experimentation and uh, see what we can do. So we'll get into it. Um, Evil Eye all kind of have uh, benefits and drawbacks, um, a lot of the main deck things. So Serzial on normal summon can add an, any Evil Eye card from hand. It is the best normal summon it would be so much better in this deck if it was a 3. It's kind of a pain that it's a 4. Um, but I suppose you are typically leaving it up anyway. Uh, just something to note, if you use its quick effect um, while equipped with Selene to blow up a card, which you're probably going to do, um, if you have to activate it to destroy something, you tend to mitigate that by having the field spell up, which you don't mind popping. Um, Basil Triss. I believe is the pronunciation. Uh, this is the new support, or new air quotes. It's been a hot minute now. So, Basil Trust basically, if it's in your graveyard and you control another Evil Eye, do you need to? Yeah, if you control an Evil Eye monster and it's in your gra uh, hand or graveyard, um, then you can reborn it. And if you do in your opponent's turn, you can then perform a link summon um, you kind of leverage the XEs in the extra deck to utilize this without it getting banished because if it comes out from under an XEs it's not leaving the field similarly with um, why are they doing this to me with the names Katoblepas <laughs> um, it has a bonus effect that it can protect and equip can be quite useful but more often than not that equip isn't going to be staying on the field throughout your turn it's going to get recycled via the graveyard so it will lose the memory of that anyway um basilis uh that can send a evil eye spell only i believe um spell or trap uh, typically you're only really doing a spell. Um, these two are mainly just in the deck as names because you're looking to get through two threes on the field. This is once per turn even though it's considerably better than both. Uh, this can reborn itself from Grave if you control an Evil Eye. This can uh, special summon from Hand if you control an Evil Eye. That's why I'm not going heavy on the ratios. So, Domain... Um, it's one of those cards thanks watch I should have really put that on silent before filming but sack it we're going with it um, the domain so it's one of those field spells that all you really care about it is going activate add a card um, it does have some battle damage stuff so I'll, I'll actually just go through it when this card is activated you can add one evil eye monster from your deck to your hand once per turn during damage calculation if your evil eye monster is attacked while an evil eye selene is in your spell trap zone you can make the battle damage you take from the battle also inflicted to your opponent um, if this card in your field zone is destroyed by card effect you can target one evil eye monster in your graveyard add it to your hand you can only activate one per turn so yeah more often than not if you have to trip that Celine effect you're popping this and getting a benefit that's how the deck used to play in practice realistically you probably not happening uh, terraforming just to add it again we just want the ads um, unleashed is cracked so you send an evil eye name uh, as in monster and you send an evil eye spell that is typically going to be battle Triss, um or Catobla pass whatever and your spell option is Gorgiano now when you're playing in your opponent's turn if you link summon then you can banish this from the graveyard re-equip a Selene um, 
which is is pretty good um, because that then turns your links on. Uh, this, if it's in your graveyard, banish it, discard an evil eye card, and then you uh, you can add an evil eye spell trap, I believe. Christ. Spell or trap from your deck to your hand. Yeah. Except itself. Uh, Celine is the key card. It, it gives protection, but again, it's more niche now. So, this is why I, I, I'm in a position with a lot of these cards where I can like pilot the deck, but when it comes down to certain things happening, I'd be like, okay, let me just double check this. Because uh, it's definitely not my main. So you equip it only to an evil eye monster, um, and then it cannot be destroyed by bat uh, battle your opponent's card effects, so it does give you a pseudo towers. Also, your opponent cannot target it with card effects. Each time you activate the equip monster's effect, or you activate another evil eye spell trap card, the equip monster gains 500 attack, and if it does, you lose 500 life points. So it's pretty good for like beefing up your monsters to try and get that OTK. Um, you do need to keep on top of that while it's happening. Um, and then if it's in the graveyard, you can pay a K, then banish an evil eye spell trap, accept itself, set the card, and then you can only use each effect once per turn. Um, Awakening is a reborn, but much like the Marincess spell, uh, spell that's similar, I believe, uh, if you have a Selene equipped to something, it becomes an E-Telly. Retribution is a spell trap negate, but if you have a Selene, it's non-respondable. It's like super poly speed. Um, prosperity, just consistency. We have the room in the extra deck, and we need to we need to see combo. Otherwise, we're kind of dead in the water. Um, triple tack is a nice balanced piece of non-engine right now. I'm not enjoying the opening a hand and just going and comparing hand traps format. You can probably do that with this deck. You can probably get it a lot of hand traps, but and it be competent. But you are kind of playing chicken with that. Ash feels like less of a liability now because everyone's fallen out with fire, and it does plenty. Uh, Ghost Ogre feels like it's got a lot of really cool application right now. Um, can put a spanner in the works for Tempai, and targeted negation is pretty good. These tend to be my favourites. Um, I don't like the way that Ghost Mana tunnels you on the, the summon. I know it works under Shifter and that's seeing a bit more play now via Tempai, but they don't seem to be opting for it. Notably as well, any Ghost Girl is a 3, so it could come up. And called by, because what do you do when you need a 40th? So it's, it's pretty solid. Um... The extra deck. Gorgon is kind of pseudo imperm. Let me check the the drawback, because they all have drawbacks. Destroy one monster this card points to, so don't point it to your others. Uh, this will destroy any card on the field at quick effect speed, and you are going to tag into this via um, your Basil Trace? Basil Trace? Yeah, I got that one right. Uh, during your opponent's turn, after you've already used, ideally, your uh, Serzial Pop, um, this has the effect to negate a monster. Now, your end board is typically going to have another thing on it, just don't have it pointing to it. Um, but yeah, the next standby phase, after this is resolved, negate a monster that it points to. More situational, Muckrack is a, a reborn. And Goddess obviously just deals with towers and stuff that can be a giant pain. If someone wants to sit there on something that's really annoying to out, you need a way to deal with that. Uh, Almirage, it's pretty much just to get Basiltris in the grave. I mean, if you resort into this, it's a bad time. Um, but it could enable a little night play. You, you really... It, it's kind of an awkward one but again you have the space it's probably just going to be prosper food uh cicada king is a negate but 
and this is the, the spicy bit that got me really interested in this list. You can also overlay Corabage, uh, Corabage onto it. Not Corabane, that's a trick star. Um, which does nothing special other than being a level 5, well, a rank 5 XEs. You then go into full armoured Dark Lancer in a deck that equips during your opponent's turn. So you have non-targeting, non-destruction, like equipping to it removal, which is just fantastic removal there's not really a lot of getting around it um with a without additional effects uh Shura king so cool it's like appaloosa the otk is but it's only for rank threes um downward because technically if you make an ashura king attack a, a bunch of times and then slap a zeus on it so what that's going to have three that's going to be a double send so yeah pick the poison um You've got Downard as an option to go into the Zeus. Um, we've got Breaksword just for a little bit of spot removal. And finally, we have got Typhon in case everything goes wrong. Um, I am just going to real quick blast through the one card combos. Because ideally you want to open Serzial, like normal Serzial, add any Evil Eye card. Let's just put everything that isn't Evil Eye to the side because it doesn't matter you're going to grab your unleashed activate the unleashed you're going to send a gorgiano to grave and sack it we don't have anything else so it is basiltris in this this instance uh, unleashed is going to search your selene to hand and then you're going to banish gorgiano discard the selene Add. You can go two ways, because um, I'm fairly sure it includes the field spell. Um, yep, just spell trap except itself. So you can grab the field spell, go ahead and activate it. You can grab the Basil Triss, you can special the Basil Triss, dump a Gorgiano for next turn. Um, or another Selene, if you want to kind of insulate that play, if you feel the need to. Um, you go ahead and activate Basil Triss Engrave, Special Summon itself, overlay those into... Cicada King, detach those to overlay onto... Corobage, I believe the detach is there, but and then overlay into full armored Dark Lancer. Um, from that point, you're kind of sitting pretty. Uh, you'll need to activate your Selene Engrave to set itself, paying a K, equip it. Let's get it in frame. So the Serziel, and this translates to a lot more disruption than it looks like. Um, so, in your opponent's turn, you typically go like, right, Serziel, blow something up. And then, when you want to use your Dark Lancer, you're going to special summon out your Basil Triss from Grave. You can use the Selene itself as Link Material, I believe, in this instance, which is weird and I actually need to read the effect, but it works in all the Sims. <laughs> uh, and it makes sense for the combo. Special summon your Link 3. Um... And then banish Unleashed to re equip Selene. You get an equip off that from your opponent's field um, with the very nice removal. And then you get to pop any card while hopefully having four non engine or a larger board. So that's just your, your standard one card. Um, notably, if you don't have Serzial and you have Domain instead, literally nothing changes, except you don't grab the Domain, you grab the Awakening. Um, obviously, with more engine, you're going to put yourself in a position to have Retribution on the board, which is brilliant. Um, such good guard. Counter traps are, are just broken, in my opinion with them being nigh uninteractable and this being actually uninteractable. 
Um, but yeah, the Awakening will serve to eat Elliot out, and you just sequence things a little differently, so you have your your Selene equipped for when you need to get that second body to make Dark Lancer. It's a relatively straightforward deck. Um, like it's it's no frills. You're kind of leaning on your non-engine heavily, but the current meta has been doing that for a bit. Um, yeah. Also, just double te uh, check. You can also use Evil Eye equip spells as Evil Eye monsters when you link summoning using Basil Triss. That's where that comes from. I knew it. I just didn't know the wording. So that is pretty much evil eye there's not a lot to go with it um it's a condensed engine you can start carving bits out of the engine or you can pull out like your triple tax and go for heavier hand traps i mean if we look at the ratio of hand traps of non-engine so we've got three six nine twelve fifteen we go 16 there, so you're already at 16. If you make concessions elsewhere, you can start getting to the ridiculous number of hand traps, but I like triple tack. Um, it's too flexible to give up um, in, in this build anyway, in my opinion, and I just don't like that style of playing Yu-Gi-Oh. I know it's the meta. I know it's the best thing that you can be doing right now, and you can probably go full Marincess on this, like realistically you don't need retribution it's good uh you can probably cut your gorgianos down so you can probably get to that that kind of magic number of 20 hand traps um personally i'd prefer not to but it's definitely something you can consider so all that being said Tell me what you think in the comments. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends. It really helps. Um, we're going to be back on it with regular content. And, uh, yeah, let's change the subject, people. I am leaving.